Hello and welcome, my name is Alexander, I'm a freelancer and today I will describe you my new learning experience of Design Pattern Singleton. So, I need to mention once again, I'm Alexander, freelancer, here's my contact information. I provide different kind of services for my clients, creating automating unit tests, improving software quality, advising company about uh, software development. Uh, I do create uh, training workshops for the companies and I help people to get hired because I have many connections to different kind of companies in Germany. So you have here my contact email, my official website, my uh, app to connect with me, a Google Android app. I should mention and yeah basically that's it so let's discuss the topic of today let me just go to the drawing board yeah I using Microsoft note yeah so basically what you see is a simplified example of design pattern singleton and how, how it works pretty simple uh, first, I have case when I have a class which need to get hold of one particular instance of singleton class. How I do that? I have get instance. It is a static method. Static, I should mention. And the call goes to the singleton object. Or basically, it's not an object uh, call; it's a call of this class. It, or the class call with get instance a class level method. So get instance is a static method. It get hold of a singleton. Uh, it is actually a reference to the singleton, and then other class can work with singleton call. All the different kind of methods save data if singleton provide methods for saving or persisting so basically pretty simple so many objects can always call one particular instance of of one particular class which is name is singleton so uh, i have done some coding First of all, I will show you the test. Yeah. So, what I'm doing here, I need to have some sort of a container. How I should uh, work with it? It's kind of clean, clean way, I will say. And then I just call the class through the super class reference, get instance. And get instance provide me an actual instance to singleton object. And here it is code from the book, head first Java design patterns, which I mentioned to, to tell you that I'm using the stuff from the design patterns book. Let me just quickly do that. Some reference. I would love to mention which kind of book I use for that and picture, oops, wrong picture. Yeah, sometimes you forget to mention. Uh, do, 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 do. Ah, okay, so basically I should mention like, like this, uh, the code and my experience with design patterns is from the book Design Patterns Head First, Design Patterns Head First. And when I find the picture of the book will be pretty cool. Maybe it is behind. Sometimes you think you prepare. Yeah, I think book notes. Yeah, book title. Sorry guys. This is a book which I use for, for my uh, video learning sessions. So if you want to get it's not an advertisement, it's just reference to this book. If you want to wish uh, to get even more how Singleton works, because I present you pretty simplified case of Singleton, 
the additional uh, complexity can be added to the singleton in the case when you try uh, to and use threads. Threads uh, are allowing to have multiple execution paths executed at the same time, but each of the threads had different execution uh, order. So you just you can actually I can explain it pretty simplified. So for me, when I speak about threads, I always imagine railroads. So you have one railroad, and then you have your train, the second railroad, and then you have your train, and you can pass values between many, many, many threads. It get kind of complicated, and it's always hard to, hard to test because it happens dynamically. But anyway, this would be the next level of understanding of singleton, applying it uh, in thread uh, environment, threaded threaded environment, I will say. But what the book actually tried to explain that singleton, the one main objective of a singleton. To make sure that singleton class can only create one instance of this class. Why do I need this? Well, the book uh, describes that you need this one particular instance because then this instance can be used by other classes. Inst uh, uh, from classes, I mean the instance. Of, of instances of the classes. I don't know, you have mm, in the books they're speaking about chocolate uh, fabric which produce uh, many different type of uh, chocolates and they need to manage the production of chocolates and Threads help you to run multiple business logic and singleton let you handle I don't know some data in one instance. So always you imagine like I don't know let me go to the board so let me take another caller. You have one singleton here and then it gets to to the another thread work is done then singleton state was manipulated by another thread it's locked and then open again and then it is here so it's <laughs> i don't want to explain how exactly thread threads threads working but the, the idea for more advanced singleton principle to have it into the thread classes so you have running threads and there you you pass manipulate and have only one instance which you pass from one thread to another and once again back and forth but it is like I don't know kind of some examples can be can be told that is kind of our uh, data storage. Uh, I don't know. You have some values which you do not uh, wish to save in your instances of the classes, and you wish to have only one point of change. So imagine that this will be like a database, but in memory, and you don't want to have multiple copies of your database. You don't. You actually want to have one single point of change. And for that, you can actually try to use Singleton. Um, singleton, in practice, in the industry, uh, used a lot. I think it is used actually in Spring Boot too. Other frameworks, because it's practical, kinda. And me, myself, mm, whenever I have used Singleton, I cannot recall it, but one time I think I just uh, call it get instance without thinking too much.
that what I that I get only one instance and that's it. But the major idea of singleton design pattern, you have only one instance to work with many classes it's kind of if you if you ask me what kind of of relationship it is i think it is n n to n to one because you have many instances which accessing only one instance and the only one instance contain uh, contains the, the changes which were provided from other instances but it is as, as I said at the beginning of, of these tutorials it does not I cannot call it course but I'll say tutorials uh, do not uh, overuse design patterns because you from some point of common sense you get probably cut in into the problem so I think uh, as I recall book mentioned uh, Java version 1.4 who, who use it <laughs> to be interesting case to to look at 1.4 uh, Java in the uh, production <laughs> so and 1.4 have some Java version 1.4 have some problem with singleton pattern as book says I cannot verify it uh, but they mentioning that uh, Java version 1.4 JVM um, actually can delete state of the singleton so you should like like uh, make sure that in, in the case of the threads in Java version 1.4 it is double checked for lock in and with that kind of note I say to you thank you the code as as always uh, is on the github look it up and till next and bye bye